edge pocket. We've got like stairs down, so I'll show you yep. that. I'll do one side of the trail, I'll do the other side with a paddle or a knife. See the difference? Yeah, just how the different techniques. Yeah, I can't use a trail. So it's always good for, because our angles have heaps of holes in it, it's good to just fill it first. See that at all? Yeah. And now, because I've only passed over it once, you'll get a lot of pop holes and a lot of little scratches and stuff. I'll put just a tiny bit on my trail again so that I can smooth it over without really taking anything off. That way that's the top half done. I'll do the exact same on the bottom half. Fill it up. Now I want the mud on the other side. So I'll put it on that side. Drag it up. Again, tidy it up at the bottom. Open it up without pressing too hard. And then I've got enough at the bottom to quite well. So it's nice, it's flat, it's full, there's no edge. It's not too full either. If you don't put it on, you can see that there's too much mud. And that's how you use the trail. Now, a lot of people like to use paddles and knives. I'll do this one. First, you'll fill it. And then you'll put it on the side that you need. You'll drag it down. And some people will cut the edge. I just open it up without pressing too hard so that it sort of cuts the edge in the same go. And then again, just Get it on the side that you want it. Drag it up. Tighten it to the bottom and then open it up. And you can cut the edge in one go and then you just put a tiny bit on it so that when you went to go past it again, smooth it out. Same thing just to check and it's not over full. I haven't used this in ages, so I'm a little rusty with it. easier to learn. So normally everyone will start on this. Once you've got that figured out, then you can move on to the trail. This is a lot more arm based. You're not using your wrist as much. You're using your whole arm. That's why you can also get longer drags instead of the trail. See if you can go right down to the bottom there. I'll grab the mud on my truck. 
Carry more mud on the um, yeah. on the trail too, right? Uh, yeah. Which one have you done? The cargo. Good one. Uh, not to put it on. Yeah. Please don't get done. Nah. No. Also, you can drag it a lot longer. If you wanted to, you can almost drag the entire angle. Come a little short. And I'll show you how to knife. But if you were to try the same thing, Where's my knife? Someone's touching it. Oh. We'll go. I'm going to try the same thing with this. Just struggle to get as far. That's kind of my max, you know? And I've really got to concentrate as well. Not like it's a problem, like it's not a massive disadvantage or anything. But it's just the difference between this and the trail. I'll take something if you want. Do you make sure you open all the windows to dry for drying? Yeah, not, not, not so much in these units, but the ones that we're finishing, because they're all like second coated yesterday, so make sure that all the coats are dry. Yep. It would be, it's pretty hot, like, it's not much of a big deal. Yeah, it's heated up now, it's not yeah. cold at all now. Last week, I think it was, like early last week. Fucking cold in the morning, man. Every day was like, freezing. So today, uh, I'll be honest with my earliest morning. Yep. And that'll get taps on it and shit.
But now we have, so this wall here in the afternoon, it gets smashed with plants and not look really loud and nothing really looks perfect. You could just see the difference in texture of paint, but you don't actually see the drawing and all the ceilings. Oh, you can't see it. Well, yeah, you're at the painter's mercy if he doesn't undercoat it with good product and, and back roll. But that's what I mean, like for us to get it to this level with shit painting, yeah. that means it's yeah. perfect, you know? Because these guys, they really don't. You, you can hide a bit of shit plastering with good painting. Yeah. And we just got upstairs. I know that personally. <laughs> You're a better painter than a plasterer, eh? Hey? Oh, well, I started as a, uh, as a painter, you know? Yeah. And like, I know how to finish perfect. And then these are just the room. Yeah, that's why cupboards get fully. That's why I only press them, I don't bother filling them. Because by the time this is fit out with the doors and everything, yeah. you're never going to see it. No light. You can't, either. like, that wasn't filled, and you can't see anything. Yeah. So, and I see a lot of people pay attention to the backs of cupboards a lot. It's like, why? Right now, try and get a look at that. Yeah. You have to climb up into here. You get some guys with little mirrors and be like, oh, yep. Ridiculous. So the light's hitting that pretty hard and you have a good look. That looks good. I can't see anything. Yeah. So that's the advantage we have up here. Trying different systems and then being able to come back while they're painted. Yeah. To see how they look. Yeah, to see which walls you need to do better on them. Exactly. Yeah. These bathrooms are cool. They've yeah. finally got some nice tiles in. Yeah. Nice Done big. pretty good job. They're running onto the ceiling now. They didn't before they had stopped. Mine tile short. Just running to there. I think it looks better running to the ceiling like yeah, that. Yeah. Definitely. And you can see the difference, because that's a villa. That's not Gibrock. Same thing. You can almost see all the little bits. See all that? Yeah. All that little ripples. Yeah. It's just in the board. There's sort of the oh, reasons why feel, people level five it, you know? Because board's never perfect either. So then you well, this has only it. had one coat, man. Like two coats, two coats sprayed on as you know, You reckon you could get and rid of those ripples, though? Oh, wow. Well, well, well. I think uh, it needs a bit. It needs a pole sand. Mm. It's never been sanded, man. So that you, you get feel? rid of the high bits, eh? And, and then uh, it's you're losing um. Those ripples might be from uh, the roller. Do you see that in the board? A fresh board? Or? You do, yeah. yeah? Nah, that, that's definitely board. Is it? Yeah, because you can feel it in the boards when they get if you put another coat on it, you can white all of that out more. But you can see the bottom board, obviously a different batch. Good. Yeah. But top board, whatever batch that is, yeah. for whatever reason, there's ripples in it. Yeah. You could be right, maybe it is the roller, if, if it's the end of the, every swat. Well, if they had another coat, it'd be true white, and this, it looks like you're seeing through parts of it. Yeah. 